Hello everyone, welcome back to programmingandpython.com. I am back with another video. Here in this video, I am going to print the pattern of letter J. In the previous videos, I told you how to print the patterns up to letter I. I have linked the playlist of all the videos in the description below. And also in the I button, somewhere in the right corner of this video. So make sure you click that uh, for the videos on previous patterns up to letter I. It is the time for pattern of letter J. So let's get started. So this is the pattern I am going to print. This is the J. This is the J we are going to print now. So let's see how to print this type of J. So let's assume the size as 5. As is a 5 by 5 square. We are giving statically 5 here. But when I go into the program where I code in PyCharm, I will uh, take it from the user. I mean I will prompt to enter the size. Based upon that size, the size of the J will vary. So here for the expression purpose, I am taking 5 as equal to 5 as static. As usual in all other programs, I will print either stars or spaces based upon some conditions. Here, the condition for printing stars are this first row and last row but only half of it and the middle column. This is mostly similar to I. It is almost similar to I where we print, if you print uh, stars here in these two places it will become an I. So it will mostly it will be similar to I except that in the last row we are not printing a full row we are only printing an half row that is you print an half row that is J. So if you are printing an half row that is J. So so I will write the for loop and conditions for that. For I in range yes Okay, as is the size for i in ranges, i is for routing the rows, these are rows and these are called columns, all these are called columns for i in range row, for i in range s that is for row, row looping and for j in range, yes this is for column looping, so here we wrote the for loops and now I need to print starts based upon some conditions, so what is the condition, so if i equal to equal to 0, the range starts from 0. If I give 5, it will take from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I need to write 0. So if i equal to equal to 0, I need to print stars. So I print that. Or, or I also need to print stars in the last column, I mean last row. Or i equal to equal to s yes, minus 1. That is the last row. And s minus 1 and J that is the column. Column should be greater than half. That means column should be greater than S by 2. So here I equal to equal to S minus 1 is it will come to this this row, this complete row. But and also I gave condition that J should be greater than S by 2. That means this is a J. S by 2 is 5 by 2 is a generally 2 as we are dealing with integers. So greater than 2. So it should be greater than 2 or yeah it should be greater than 2 only if it's greater than 2 it will print I think it should be less than if uh, if it's greater than means it will print these two instead of printing here it will print here so it should be less than and j should be less than s by 2 so it will print only this side so if I do if I give greater than it will print that side so if I don't give anything it will print the whole line just like just like i so this is the condition, so I will uh, put this, group this and group this. So here I will print star and I will give end as space. If you follow the previous programs, you will know why I am giving this end as space. By default, print takes end as next line. So as soon as you print star, it will go to the next line. But here it's not that scenario where we go where you want to go to the next line. It should say the same line. So I'll do end as space or empty. So it will go to the, it will, so it won't go to the next line. So and in else condition, and else I just need to print spaces. So this is the end condition in this so this is else condition in else condition I need to print spaces. So in these conditions I need I wrote the conditions for printing stars. So in else conditions, 
So in else, I'll just print spaces. So after this for loop, I need to also print an empty print. So it go to the next iteration after completing whole of this line, or it should go to the next line. And after coming this whole line, it should go to the next line. For that, I'll do the empty print. So that's it for this explanation. Hope you understood. So now I go now I go to my computer, open my Python ID, code the program, execute, see the output. I'm in my ID guys. So as usual, I'll just ask the size of the user. Size equal to input. I'll ask for size. Enter any size. Enter this size. And I'll also check whether the size is greater than eight. Uh, because if the size if the size is small we may not see the pattern clearly so you always take this condition so that we have a reasonable letter we have a good looking letter this is not this is not really mandatory i'm doing for the look i'm just doing for the output sec if size is less than eight i'll say print i'll prompt the user to enter size minimum of eight and in else condition, I'll just call the function to print pattern, and I'll and I'll pass this size to that. So now I need to define this print pattern. Def and print pattern. I should pass this n the size. I should pass the size. I will call. I'm calling it as n here. So as I just said in uh, whiteboard we need some loops for loops uh, one for row looping and another, another for column looping so write for row in range of n for column in range of n so here now i need to print conditions for printing this first column last column I mean first row, last row and middle row and here the last row is only half so this is almost similar to i if the half if the last row is full it's i if the last row is half it's j so we can almost I can almost replicate this i program and this and then just write conditions to remove the next remove the last half so I'll do that now for if so I'll write if row equal to equal to zero or row equal to equal to n minus one. Uh, I'm just writing the i or column equal to equal to n by by two. So this is the uh, conditions for printing an i. I have just printed the first column, last column. I have just printed the first row, last row, and middle row. So print star and n equal to space. And I just said why I have given this n as space. Else print space. Now after the first for loop, I need to print an empty print so that it goes to, it goes to the next line after the iteration. After printing this, it should go to the next line. After printing this line, it should go to the next line. For that, I'll give an empty print after the first for loop. So now let me run this and see. We'll see an i instead of j. It should be int. I forgot to cast this as int. You see, we got an i. Now I will write conditions to remove this later part. So here, this is the condition for printing the last row. So here in the last row, I will write one more condition. I will group this together and I will write one more condition that would be n. So this and that should happen and column should be greater than equal to n by by 2. So let's see this. I mean, I'm saying this column should be, I mean, in column should be less than. In column should be less than. That means only it should be 
less than uh, half that means only these things will be printed so let me see that now i will just run parent j like this size of 8 we can see this j is printed and also one more thing i need to say i have given here double float division uh, this is for let me run again and show if i give the size of 9 it, it gives me j but if i don't give this float division and give the normal division uh, the even numbers uh, print, will print fine but for the odd numbers we may not see the exact output the columns will be this condition will be completely ignored because we may because as uh, because i had given this as an integer so 9 by 2 gives a floor uh, gives a floor value but this is an integer so it doesn't even uh, enters this condition it will exit so we may not so we might not print that so it won't print that so that's why i mean the floor division so that it will print that so that's it about so that's how you can print this pattern j so that's it for this video hope you like the video if you like it please consider subscribing to my channel programming in python.com give it a like comment and also share it with your friends who might find this python tutorials helpful i will be continuing this pattern series up to letter z so stay tuned for more videos on programming in python.com see you in the next video Bye bye